Hi, this is Ryan Bisey with Galaxy of Toys, and today I'm going to take a look at the Wave 4 of Rogue One action figures. Well, at least most of them. So these popped up on Entertainment Earth this last week for $9.99 each. They set a pre-order for June, so I didn't expect them already, but since they showed up, I thought I'd go ahead and review them. I don't have Fen Rao yet. I have not been able to find him. He wasn't on the Entertainment Order, uh, Entertainment Earth uh, order there, so I'll have to try and find him elsewhere. Before I get into those, I thought I'd just show uh, this... Little Princess Leia off. This was the build a figure or whatever you want to call it that they did at Toys R Us today on May 6th. Uh, you just walked in, you could build it right there. Sometimes they do it only for kids. Today they seem to, at least at my Toys R Us I went to, uh, allowed adults to get in on all that fun too. So we will start with Lieutenant Cephla here. I'll get him out of the card so that I'd show off what his card looks like. Not a whole lot. Give you his information right here. Yeah, let's see what he looks like. So here we have Cephalo. Go in so you can see some of the details on him. Very well sculpted figure. I'm pretty impressed with him. Just kind of a background character, especially. His helmet does come off. So you can see, I know we've had a lot of helmets like these with old uh, Endor troopers and such. Shine the light on him, maybe you can see a little bit more of the detail here. So nice figure. He does come with a gun that still has tape on it, apparently. Um, and then his extra accessory, his play accessory, is this right here. Now, the interesting thing about this piece, as uh, Jake pointed out on Toy Run this last week, is this is actually the bazooka or rocket launcher, whatever you want to call it, that Bayes Malbus uses on the ATACT in Rogue One. So this is not just a play value item added to this figure, but this is actually film accurate, which is really cool. Looking a little closer at this figure, we do see he has a slightly bent elbow, which is very nice to see. And, you know, I wasn't paying attention. This helmet is a little different from what we had on those Endor helmets. So it's, not, it's uh, a different style of helmet. It has some similar ideas. It looks like the aviator's cap is the uh, base of it, uh, just like the Endor helmets. Next, we'll take a look at Admiral Radis here, our Admiral Akbar stand-in, or... New Mon Cal, whatever you want to call it. So here we have Admiral Radis. Very nice detail on the figure. And there's not a whole lot to do to him, I suppose. It's a lot of uh, the same colors here, but nice to have another Mon Cal. He does, while his head won't turn, he can open his mouth so he can uh, shout out orders. Much like we had with the uh, Force Awakens Admiral Akbar and the Pow figure in the two pack with these Rogue One figures. And he came with what looks like an oversized Rebel Blaster here. And then a really oversized, um, I don't know, plasma shooter. I don't know what you want to call that. But uh, obviously this is, you know, something for the, the accessory bin. <laughs> it's just not going to stick with him. Uh, very nice figure again. Good detail on the face here. Overall, very very great figure. Um, this is one I'm sure a lot of us, when we saw Rogue One, we were hoping they would make. Finally, we have Galen Urso here, the person who this movie, <laughs> Rogue One, is pretty much all about, as he helped design the Death Star, and he's kind of the MacGuffin for a little bit of the, the movie. So we'll dive into Mr. Urso. I'm kind of glad they made a figure. I wasn't sure if they would. Galen here comes with several accessories. We get a mouse droid, and basically uh, the fantasy items for Galen Urso, which would be a gun, and uh, some sort of uh, repelling or uh, zipline type item. Basically, if Galen Urso had had this stuff, he might have lived through the movie. As we don't ever see Galen with a gun, well, in this Imperial uniform. And um, the zipline might have helped him get off that platform on Eadu. Who knows? Anyway, we'll go look at the figure here first. I don't know about you, when I saw these uniforms in the movie, it reminded me of Star Trek The Next Generation a lot. It was kind of next gen uh, meets Imperial or something like that. Especially the other engineers that were with him, that looked very Star Trek-ish too. Uh, let me know if you think I, I am on that or maybe I'm just way off. We have the little science division emblem on his side. We get a good look at his face. Um, it looks like a uh, paintbrush dusted his face lightly to give him scruff or a beard. Um, I don't know if this is better or worse than casting Andor's beard that we've had previously. It looks okay. I don't think this necessarily looks that much like Galen or so, but not a bad figure. Uh, the mouse droid, we've had these previously. I think the last figure this came with was Grand Moff Tarkin. Um, we've had these blasters come with TIE pilots. This looks very similar. And then the repelling gear here. 
that maybe Jin could have saved your daddy with if uh, they'd had this. He also came with instructions in order to use his fantasy zipline gear here, just in case you couldn't figure out how to use it. So that's a look at Galen Ursa. So that's my look at the Rogue One Wave 4 action figures. Obviously, I don't have Fen Rao. If you wanted to hook me up with that figure, I'd be very grateful. But I don't expect a whole lot of comments saying, here, here's a Fen Rao. But I'm not looking to spend 25, 30 bucks like they seem to be going on eBay or Amazon right now. So I'll look, wait and hopefully find it for a better deal than that. Of course, if there's anything you'd like to see me review, go ahead and put it in the comments below. I'd also like to have a discussion here soon about which figures weren't made for Rogue One. Since it looks like this may be our last full Rogue One wave, which ones were missed? What ones, when you saw the movie, did you want them to make? Um, in the future, I'd like to do a video about some of that. So if you have any suggestions, go ahead and put them in the comments below, and I'll mention them when I do that. Thank you for watching.